Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Let's dive into Python threading. This tutorial will cover the basics of threading, why it's useful, and provide a code example. Hashtag 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 what is threading? Threading is a way to run multiple threads, smaller units of a process, concurrently in a program. This can lead to better performance, especially in I slash O bound tasks. For example, if you have tasks that wait for I.O. operations, like network requests or file I.O., utilizing threading can help keep your program responsive. Hashtag 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 why use threading? One concurrency, you can run multiple operations at once. Two responsiveness, for applications with a GUI, threading can keep the interface responsive while performing tasks in the background. 3. Utilizing I.O. wait times, threads can be particularly useful when tasks spend a lot of time waiting for resources. Hashtag 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 Python threading basics. Python's threading module allows you to create and manage threads easily. A thread can be created by extending the thread class or by using the thread constructor directly. Hashtag 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 key concepts. Thread. A thread is a separate flow of execution. Daemon thread, a thread that runs in the background and does not prevent the program from exiting. Lock, a synchronization primitive that is used to prevent simultaneous access to shared resources. Hashtag 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 creating threads. You can create a thread in two ways. One subclassing thread. Two using the thread class directly. Hashtag 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 basic example. Let's illustrate threading with a simple example where we simulate downloading files. Hashtag 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 explanation of the code. One importing modules, we import the threading, time, and random modules. Two defining the download underscore file function, this function simulates the downloading of a file. It uses time.sleep to mimic the time taken to download. 3. Creating threads, we loop through the list of files and create a thread for each file download. The target argument specifies the function to run, and args is used to pass arguments to that function. 4. Starting threads, each thread is started with thread.start. 5. Joining threads, after starting all threads, thread.join is called to ensure the main program waits for all threads to finish before printing the final message. Hashtag 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 notes. Thread safety, when using shared resources, make sure to use locks to avoid race conditions. Global interpreter lock, GIL, Python has a GIL that allows only one thread to execute at a time for CPU bound operations. However, Threading is still effective for I slash O bound tasks. Hashtag 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 conclusion. Threading in Python is a powerful tool for concurrent execution, especially useful for I slash O bound applications. The threading module makes it easy to implement threads, but always be cautious about thread safety when accessing shared resources. This tutorial should give you a solid foundation to start working with threading in Python. Happy coding!